So, what up, y'all? It's Mikey from uh, Canada Ride Balls. Now, I'm really excited to be doing another uh, video today with the Valken M17. This guy has been an absolute monster for us. So, I want to keep doing, uh, you know, some videos, tests, different type of uh, demos, you know, different variables to see uh, what uh, results we get. So far, this guy with every single test and demo we've done has just been an absolute monster. So I'm expecting high, high results and uh, you know, super excited to get this going. So uh, really quickly, today's uh, tests are gonna be a little bit different. So today we're gonna be using some ballistics gel. Now, if you guys check out our channel, Canada Ride Balls, you'll notice we have a couple videos. We even have a how-to video on how to make ballistics gel. And uh, in those videos, we're using the uh, FSC and the T15 versus 10% ballistics gel. Now, uh, originally this video was supposed to come out yesterday. Now, when I was doing this video yesterday, um, I made the same 10% ballistics gel because I wanted to compare the results I got from the FSC and the results I wanted to, uh, results I got from the T15 using heavier and lighter projectiles and the ballistics gel. But unfortunately, um, you know, just really, really roughly because it does depend on a bunch of different things. But the FSC and the 9.9 uh, .9 gram when I was doing some ballistics gel tests with the 10%, I was getting anywhere from two to three inches of penetration when I was just using the gel with nothing on it. Now, yesterday when I created that same 10%, I went to go use the 9.9 .9 with the uh, M17 at 44 joules. It just ripped right through the uh, four inch mold I made and it went from one side out the other. So. Um, I didn't think that would be the best way to, you know, kind of do some tests and get some results. So what I ended up doing is uh, I scratched that video yesterday and I made a new ballistics gel. So the difference is this one now is a 15% ballistics gel. So in the old ones I used to make, I used to make uh, 11 and a half cups of water to 250 milliliters of Nox uh, uh, gelatin. But when I say 250, I would use a cup. So 250 is one cup, but I would max out that one cup. So it would be flush with the Nox gelatin. Now, and that was the 10%. So now I'm using 11 cups of water. So same amount of water, but now I'm using uh, a full cup, 250 ml of Nox gelatin plus another half cup. Okay, so it should be um, just a little bit over 15% and it should give us way better results. Now, I'm super excited to uh, get this going. We're gonna be using the M17 today, which is this bad boy right here. Now, also today we're gonna be using the four gram uh, round ball rye ball. So it's a 0 0.683 nylon PVC with a glass gloss. Um, uh, 6.8 caliber <laughs> rye ball. So it's the uh, lighter projectile we use for home defense. So on some markers, uh, the uh, foreground does absolutely great. When it comes to my T15, for example, to get 24 joules, I would rather use the foregram than use the 9.9 uh, .9 gram. But you know, like the FSC and the M17, I like using the 9.9 .9 gram. So in today's test, we're gonna use both projectiles, uh, see the results we get. Also, we're gonna be using the eight inch um, Lapco 6.83 rifled A5 barrel, and we're gonna be using a 12 inch Lapco 6.83 uh, rifle barrel. So the reason I'm not using the 14 inch is because, so the eight inch with a 9.9 .9 gram is giving me um, a buck 80, 180 FPS. So it's about 37 joules. The uh, 12 uh, inch barrel is giving me 295 to 300 FPS, which is uh, equivalent to about 42, 43 joules. Now the 14 inch gives me the highest FPS. It's about 305, 307, a solid 44, uh, 44 and a half joules. But the thing is the 14 inch is way too long. When you use a marker like the T15, for example, um, even the FSC, because the barrels do end up going inside the, uh, um, inside the breech, uh, the barrels aren't that long when you're using a 14 and 16, for example, but these uh, M17s, since they just thread on a 14 inch is absolutely way too long for me. So like I said in yesterday's video, um, my optimal FPS jewel setting that I want to have is 44 joules using a 10 inch uh, control board. So it's a 10 inch, so realistically it means a nine inch because uh, I only use a thread saver. So it's going to be a nine inch Lapco 684 because I can only find a 684 in the nine inch uh, rifled A5 barrel. So that one's gonna give me 295. I know for a fact it's gonna give me 295. Hopefully I can get it to 300, uh, 300 flat with the 9.9 .9, and that's my uh, home defense ready to go uh, M17 that I will personally be using. So it's gonna be 44 joules, 9.9 .9 gram, 10 inch barrel, uh, 13 CI Ninja, 1100 PSI output pressure tank. 
And uh, the best part is I'll be getting about 45, 47 shots with a 9.9 .9 at 44 joules. So that's absolutely awesome. I'm gonna figure out some type of uh, copler. If anybody knows, please uh, let me know. I wanna do a copler with the hybrids if possible so I can always have uh, 40 shots ready to go. So like I said, we're gonna get this uh, test going. Now we're gonna be starting with the ballistic shell. After the ballistic shell, I'm gonna do a quick, um, you know how everybody does the steel cooking pan uh, videos? I wanna see what the four gram and uh, what the 9.9 gram do to uh, that cooking pan after we're done, after we do the ballistic shell. So we're gonna do the eight inch barrel that's getting us 280 FPS, 37 joules, 20 feet, 9.9 .9 and four gram versus ballistic shell. 15% then we're going to be doing uh, we'll go back to about 40 feet with the 9.9 .9 and the 4 gram uh, we'll use a 12 inch barrel yeah does that make sense actually you know what what we're going to do is uh, we'll do 20 feet but then we'll do the 8 inch barrel with the 9.9 .9 and the 4 then we'll do the 12 inch barrel the 9.9 .9 and the 4 and see the results we get with the uh, ballistic shell if it's very similar then i'll go back um, increasing the distance to see what results we get but either way i'm more just um I'm more wanting to know what, what's gonna happen with the ballistic shell. And uh, I guess probably the shorter barrel because my 10 inch isn't here yet. But either way, um, absolutely some great results. And it's gonna be the first time we'll be using the four gram with the M17, which should be an absolute monster. So really quick, uh, let's just go over our setup. So this is our M17 right here. This guy's giving us 37 joules right now, 280, because we're using the eight inch barrel. Like I said, um, I'm gonna stick with the 10 inch for home defense, but uh, when you the 8 inch is, is great 37 joules, but when you do go up from 10 inch and above uh, You do start clearing that 40 joules mark and uh, that's that's where I want to be at So like I was saying we got our Grizzin M17 MCS uh, shroud our 8 inch Lapco 683 a5 barrel We got some flip ups our first strike uh, 2 inch rails uh, the M lock we got um, a flashlight, a mini angle foregrip, our square head mags, our magwell. I'm gonna change my magwell to the FAL, but um, I haven't got it yet. Now our Ninja 13 CI 1100 PSI output pressure. So really quick, you guys, my uh, old uh, holographic, it looks almost identical to this. It wasn't working with the M17 because the pressure I'm getting from the M17 is a little too much. So what ended up happening, I got that site for about 80 bucks. Now I went to a, um, a hunting store we have in town it's been 189 bucks on this site i forget the name i can post it but so far it's actually working so even with the higher pressure uh, it is working i'll be using this today so that's something else we can uh, check out in this demo but uh but yeah so um you know without too much said let's uh let's get this going okay guys so we're gonna do the first uh, test versus the 15 percent uh, ballistics gel so earlier by accident I said 185 but the 8 inch is 280 285 FPS but we're using the 12 inch barrel right now so it's the M17 the 9.9 .9 gram at 20 feet with the 12 inch barrel giving us an exact 300 FPS 43 42 43 joules so let's uh, start this off and uh, see the results we get Okay, guys, absolutely unreal.
Okay, guys. So, <laughs> what a monster. This is our ballistic gel. You could see the uh, four shots where I took. Now, when you come to the side, boom, ripped. Look at that. Looks like a like Wolverine came up and scratched his ballistic gel. Absolutely nuts. So, it ripped all the way through. Okay. That's the 9.9 .9 gram, 300 FPS, 43, 44 joules. Okay, let's just measure this real quick. So the ballistics gel is just over three inches. So three inches, rip through 20 feet, 9.9 .9 gram, absolutely no problem. Let's, uh, let's go back to about 30 feet and see the results we get. We're gonna go back just under 30 feet now with the 9.9 .9 and the M17, so 300 flat FPS. Let's uh, see what it does to the ballistic gel. Hopefully it rips right through as well. Hopefully I can get it in slow-mo too. You guys, so absolutely unreal results. 300 FPS, 42, 43 joules, M17, 9.9 .9 gram, just rip through 20, 30 feet, 30, 20, 30 feet, it does not matter. So now, um, you know, I was kind of expecting those results because this thing's been such an animal, but now let's move on to the four gram. So let's go back 20 feet, four gram, uh, M17. It's 400 plus, unfortunately, we don't have the exact uh, chrono, but we do know it's 400 plus. Uh, let's see the results we get with our 15 inch, 15 percent um, uh, ballistic gel. Four gram with the M17 absolutely just killed it, ripped right through 15% ballistic gel, no problem. So on this last one, before we do the uh, um, the uh, pan video, I'm just gonna rip like 10 shots of the 9.9. .9. I think I have two of the four gram in the same make as well at 20 feet, just just for some fun. So we'll go back to 20 feet, 9.9 .9 plus four gram M17, 15% ballistic gel.
just a monster. Okay, let's move on to the pan.